Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. Welcome back to another Sea of Thieves video. In this video, we are going to do something a little bit different. I get questions all the time. Hey, Hippo, how do you become a better sneaky thieving pirate? Well, I have a lot of thoughts on that, and I wanted to share some of those with you. So hopefully you guys get some good content, good uh, good tips and tricks out of this video. If you do, I would love to know your favorite parts in the comments below. And hell, if you want to smash that like button, that really helps me when you do that. Now, let's jump into the video. Tucking and being a thieving pirate is all about a couple things. So I'm going to kind of cover those right here. So I was playing offline as a solo player. One thing as a solo player that you desperately need is you need to find yourself a rowboat. Now, one of the best ways to do that is kind of look at the smaller islands along the way to whatever kind of activity that you're going to, whatever kind of world event you're going to go steal from. Once you find yourself a rowboat, the next thing is the approach to the world event is going to kind of give you away if you do it in a bad way. So oftentimes what you'll see me do is I will position an island, a rock, something like that between me and the world event or me and the ship that I'm going after. That way they don't have a clear line of sight on me. Now that doesn't guarantee that they won't know that you're on your way or that they won't see you because they're always, if they're doing their job as lookouts, they're always going to uh, see you coming in or assume that you're coming in. So you just got to do your best in that way. And the better, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Uh, but approach is one of the biggest parts of a successful steal because you want that element of surprise. In fact, I would say you need that element of surprise for it to work. So approach, approach, approach. Really think about how you're going to kind of approach an island. There is a lot of different ways that you can do that. A lot of it depends on where you spawn. A lot of it depends on what islands are between you and the world event. There are some great islands for certain forts and some great islands for certain things, but just kind of look at it and from that perspective and really get into the mindset of what a player would be thinking at a world event like a Fort of Fortune, which right now is one of the hottest world events in Sea of Thieves, thanks to Season 9 and the Chest of Fortune. In fact, that's what I'm doing here. I am tucking on a Chest of Fortune or a Fort of Fortune, trying to get that Chest of Fortune from what appeared from the distance to be a Sloop Alliance. Now, one thing I want to talk about is as I approached them, I was trying to figure out which boat was the most likely boat to put the chest of fortune on this kind of came down to one thing for me is the one boat that i decided to tuck on ended up having the gold hoarder uh the gold hoarder emissary so gold hoarder i already know is what chest of fortune turns in at so it was very likely that they were the ones that were going to want that chest of fortune and i decided to pick that ship to swim up on and tuck so as I approached it, I was just kind of paying attention to my surroundings, trying to listen to see if anyone was going to be on the boat. And it turned out that they weren't. A part of tucking is just stupid luck. Like sometimes it's all comes down to timing. I've had it where I've climbed up a ladder and someone has spawned right in front of me. I've seen it happen to my mate Green where I tell him the coast is clear. He climbs up the ladder, looks to the left, and then someone literally spawns in and sees him. So sometimes it's just stupid luck that it comes down to. Like what what kind of luck do you have? Now I say you should sacrifice a disgrace skull to the whale lord for some good luck, but that is just between me and you. If you want a little tip there, I would definitely do that when you have the time. But anyways, back to what I'm doing here. So I I decided to tuck on the cannon now it's a pretty good spot most experienced players are going to check there but this is why i was talking about earlier about your approach being key if you do your job right as a thieving pirate you are going to be able to get into this position without them being a uh, sus suspect of tuckers now really really good experienced crews are going to constantly check their ship and there's not much you can do with that against a crew like that but with that being said, though, even some experienced crews kind of get in the mode and kind of forget to do some of the basic things like check your ship. Now, once you're in the tucking position and you're waiting for the right moment to kind of attack or pull off your plan, I get this question often. They're like, hey, Hippo, when do you know the right moment is the right moment? And honestly, that depends on the situation. And that's just the truth of it. Each steal I've ever done is different. Each crew I've gone up against is different. There are some kind of 
similar things that I do at certain places, but sometimes it's just kind of what is happening and then trying to come up with the plan in that moment that is clever enough or kind of hits them the hardest uh, in that moment. And this is a great example of that. So the, the boat kind of got knocked away from the fort from its original position thanks to the ashen lord and the guy came back to his ship as you can see here and he started to kind of man maneuver his boat in a way that allowed him to what i was thinking was going to be able to harpoon the treasure once they finished it so this kind of got me thinking like one are they going to save the kegs two if they don't save the kegs is this guy going to get the chest of fortune and if he is when will i make my move when will i kind of pounce on that chest of fortune well, I waited until they finished, and what the guy ended up doing was stacking the loot in a positioned harpoon. So what I did was I slowly moved the wheel so the ship would slowly turn, and I went back to tucking. And I was just basically waiting for the ship to completely turn so I could harpoon the chest of fortune because I did see him place it into that loot pile earlier. But while I was doing that, he also dropped a keg because they did end up saving the kegs, which gave me an idea. First, I'm going to harpoon the chest of fortune, get that on the boat. Second, I'm going to harpoon the keg, set the keg off, grab the chest of fortune and jump off the back. And as you're about to see, things worked pretty good for me. The, there's only one kind of thing that I didn't anticipate, and that was the man immediately getting on top of me and trying to kill me. So I'm just going to kind of let this plan play out so you can see what I do. After I was able to kill him, which mind you, a sword fight in the water from when they're directly below you is one of the hardest fights to pull off because the way the game works is just crazy. But after that fight, I started swimming back to that rowboat that I left behind the rock and I had pissed off all of SeaWorld. They were all after me. I had sirens. I had sharks after me. I was just trying to bob and to weave to get back to that precious rowboat because that's what was going to save me and get me out of that situation. And this is actually why I say the rowboat is such a key part to a good steal because at the end of the day, swimming a chest away from a fort like this at great distance is very risky. You can get killed by sharks. You can get killed by sirens. They can track the mermaids down. It can just go wrong. And a rowboat oftentimes will get you out of that situation, especially if there's more than one thing of loot that you're trying to steal. So always kind of take the time and find that rowboat. And here I was able to row away completely, sell this chest of fortune at Golden Sands and make out like a bandit. Here was another time that I was playing offline again, saw a Fort of Fortune in the distance, approached from hiding behind a rock, and this one I ended up swimming over. While they finished the Fort of Fortune, I was able to get on board the boat and I ended up tucking down below. Now, in this case, it was a brig, and so there's a couple really good spots to hide on a brig. I have a video actually that you can check out that I will put in the links below, but just kind of a video that shows all the a lot of the good spots to hide on a brig, a sloop, and uh, and a galleon. So definitely recommend checking that out. But here I am, I'm on the boat, they finished the Fort of Fortune, and I'm just waiting for the moment to steal the chest of fortune. Now they just started harpooning, and I take a peek and I saw that this guy had the chest of fortune, and I wanted to see what he would do with it. Now this person trying to keep the chest safe ended up putting it down below deck, and there I was, I saw the prize and i was waiting for the moment to steal it and we had this guy v lav just load in from i don't know maybe he died or maybe he's an open crew i'm not quite sure what's going on but he's just afk and he finally started moving and i just was waiting because at the end of the day a good steal always comes down to the the moment that you kind of act out your plan 
And if you want to pull off a good sneaky sneak, you just got to wait. And sometimes patience is being patient is tough. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. The more you play, the better sense of player movement and kind of the things that they're they're doing kind of you know you'll you get a better sense of what's going on and i've played this game a lot i have thousands of hours in this game so i do i feel like have a pretty good sense on that eventually what happened is the guy vlav jumped off the boat we had one guy at the front harpooning and i decided to make that my moment and i didn't look back i just jumped off grabbed it and and swam away and uh, once I was in the water, I was hoping that they wouldn't see me. I started to swim down just in case they kind of look over the edge. And I just tried to get away. And this is just one of those moments where everything worked in my favor. Everything worked out uh, for me. They weren't looking. They were all unloading the treasure. They had one guy in the harpoon. This is actually why if you are doing a Fort of Fortune or something like that, always kind of keep an eye on your treasure always be listening for mermaids this guy might have heard the mermaid spawn and if he did they probably could have caught me swimming away with their chest of fortune but in this case they ended up not doing that and i was able to get away now this is just another clip of me swimming towards a fort of the damned it was an alliance so you had a galleon and a sloop there and when I was talking about earlier, it's all about the approach. I parked my boat on the south side of Crooks Hollow and I swam over. And this is going to be, if you're a, if you're a thief and this is your ducker, this is gonna be your best opportunity. You want to make sure that you can get into a position to make the play. And you wanna do that in a way that doesn't get you caught. So again, I talk about this a lot what's a creative way sometimes that you can get into a position as you'll see here there is a fisherman uh on the galleon and that is their lookout and i don't want it i didn't want to grab the ladder and kind of alert them so i actually had a pretty clever idea that ended up working as you will see here but i kind of thought of this idea of getting on the sloop and using the beam from the sloop to jump over to the to the galleon so this is kind of how oh yeah i did fail my lunge listen i'm not perfect with my lunges either but anyways i did try to do exactly that so let's see how that worked out Can I get a group opinion about this cupcake idea? <laughs> so I have um, a French vanilla cupcake and I was thinking about doing strawberry buttercream icing on top of it, but then I just thought I could core it out a little bit and put strawberry jam or something inside of it. Yay or nay? I'm sorry. Right. Now, this particular crew ended up being awesome, and I was just listening to their kind of their hot micing. So instead of stealing from them, what I decided to do was do what any reasonable pirate would do in a situation like this. I joined them in fishing. Oh, I have an entire counter just full of, I don't know, I don't have any space to put anything else. Hmm. I was in charge of the dessert for the party. Yes. Oopsies. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> I say more cupcakes the merrier. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh shit, what's up, hippo? <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> oh, it's on our boat. 
I couldn't I couldn't resist. I was gonna tuck and steal, but honestly, I wanna fish with you. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh, awesome. How's it going everybody? How are you? It's going. Hey, how's it going? Just vibing, honestly. Just in a mood tonight. Wanna fish? Man, you so it's the uh, new technique. Amazing. Amazing. Right. Yeah, that's why I gotta handicap myself. I'm actually a professional wrangler. Now, I really enjoyed uh, making this video. So again, if you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to hit that like button. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm, YouTube overlords. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Everything that you guys see me do as far as the gameplay videos, uh, if you see my little face cam there, I did that live over on my Twitch and I love to give tips, uh, and, and tricks out there for every player new or old, just trying to help, uh, everyone kind of become the best pirate that you can be. So if you want to stop by my Twitch channel, the link is in the comments or sorry, the link is in the description below. And again, if you like this video, uh, I would love to do more. So let me know what kinds of videos you'd like me to make more content on. And I will see you all out on the seas.